I am Nimo Basi, Director of Health of Mother Earth Foundation in Nigeria and Coordinator of All Watch International. Yes, uh, most of the injustices that we, conf we are confronted with on a daily basis is the impunity of oil corporations, transnational oil corporations operating in the Niger Delta of Nigeria, as well as in other nations where oil is extracted. We're facing situations where the environments are severely polluted by oil spills, by waste of dumping of chemicals, and by flaring of gas in the oil fields. These are things that destroys people's means of livelihood, fisheries, uh, and poisons, everything, drinking water, the atmosphere, things that really challenge people's lives very directly. And so we campaign to stop the expansion of this industry, this sector, to force humanity to think about better means of energy production and to wean ourselves from the dependency on fossil fuel-based civilization. Uh, one of the ways we do this is to challenge the corporations and the government backing them through litigation. Uh, they, they listen to the language of the courts much more than they listen to the language on the street. And so we use that to help them hear us. We also campaign through uncovering and exposing the damage and the harm that they do to the environment. And we do this through the local people who are directly impacted. We merely stand with the people. The people are those who are fighting against the injustice because they are the ones feeling the pains. They are the ones whose, life, uh, whose lives are being cut short. And so what we do is just to stand with them in solidarity, to fight with them, and to, you know, share the load that they confront. The challenges that we face in our work are many. Uh, if you're campaigning against fossil fuels extraction, you are confronting a very big machine, so to speak. Because the world has been, over the years, over the past 150 years or thereabouts, come to depend so much on petroleum products as the major source of energy. And many people are not ready to think about an alternative to this. Uh, they don't want to think about anything that will replace this. Some people think it's impossible. And so even with all the warnings coming from conservative bodies like the World Bank, like the International Energy Agency, that we have to stop extracting or so we should not bother to exhaust known reserves of fossil fuels if we're going to halt runaway climate change. You find that governments and, and all other policymakers are simply refusing to pay attention to these dire warnings. Uh, it's as though tomorrow doesn't matter. And so you find people who are so, uh, policymakers who are so embedded in the thinking that because a lot of revenue comes from this energy source, that is the best way they must go. You find corporations who think only about profit and don't care about the people, they don't care about the environment, continuing in this same way of exploiting, of destroying, of gaining, and not caring what happens to people or the planet. So these are very big challenges. You find also the challenge of the kind of relationship between governments and corporations make it impossible for, almost impossible, to get them to pay attention because they feel they can do whatever they want. So in terms of power relations between uh, those in the saddles of policymaking and the people who are bearing the impact of this impunity. You also have a situation where some of the tools available for fighting impunity is not fully understood by those who would utilize these tools. For example, in some countries, we have the rights of nature as part of their legal system. But there's little understanding about how to enforce this at this moment. So the struggle is about today, about tomorrow. It's a continuous struggle. And it's difficult to see um, how soon we can get to the mountain top. But the interesting thing is that we just have to keep moving and not stopping, knowing that we know where we want to go. And that's very critical, knowing where you want to go. 
and knowing also where you don't want to go. We want to have liberty. We want to protect our environment. We want to secure the rights of the people and also the rights of Mother Earth. A, a just future, I like the way you asked that question because a just future must be our vision. Once we have a clear vision that this is where we want to go, then we can take steps towards achieving that. And a just future would happen if we all, as human beings on Earth, realize that we are part of nature and not separate from nature. We are one of the beings. We are not the only beings on Earth. And we cannot only be thinking about ourselves. We must think about the other beings. We must respect nature. We can't fight nature. We can't always transform nature. So the future is a future of peace, love, solidarity. And we just can't look for anything better.